that you and, and, and I'm, I'm not, I don't mean this to sound insulting. I, I, I'm, I was not aware that you were not aware of the differences between Her Majesty and Her Majesty. No, no, that's right. Because that's the whole game for you guys. That's it. It's done at that point. Yeah. If they are not Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor, then who the fuck are you? <laughs> and what the fuck makes you think you have jurisdiction over me? <laughs> yeah. It's done. It's done. It doesn't get any more simple than that. <laughs> Right? Then it comes down to contract law. There's three parts of contract law. Consent, full disclosure, and valuable consideration. Did I consent to this? Was I aware of all the terms? And how much am I being paid? Hmm. I'm exchanging my labor for something in return, which is payment, or whatever the terms of the contract are. But both parties have to get something out of a contract. Right. Right? So now, if you're not the queen, if you're not Queen Elizabeth then you're a corporation. If you're a corporation, where's the contract? Mm. And how much was I paid? And when are you claiming I was supposed to do this work? And what was I supposed to do for you? Yeah. Right? Well, they're done now. They're done. Right. Game over. Yeah. I think as well as knowing that, there's, I think there's a little bit of knowledge just to do with like court procedure and just knowing where to send what that I still need to learn. But... You know, yeah, well, in order in order to implement that. Kind well, of thing. just like I talk in the videos, you got to contact these people calling themselves the Crown. Right. You got to contact them, and they got like probably a Crown Prosecution Service, just like they do over here, probably right in the court building. Yeah, yeah. Is is that what it's called over there? Is it Crown Prosecution Service? Yeah, yeah same area. Yeah. Well, isn't that interesting? Crown Prosecution Service. Hmm. Yeah. It's right in the name. Yeah. Right, we got nobody to blame but ourselves here if if we haven't figured this out yet. Yeah. Except now we have, so now it's time to hold them accountable. So you contact them and you ask them these very, very simple questions with the understanding that if they don't reply, that they've defaulted and you're gonna let the courts know that they're defaulting and you have agreement that they have no jurisdiction over you and you're not showing up for any fucking tribunal for summary judgment of a of a non existing contract. Yeah. And you send that down to the courts when they don't reply. You default them. You, you let them know. You swear out a, a certificate of default. I'm certifying that the other party default and they agree with me that they don't have any jurisdiction. So they agree with me. You send that down to the courthouse and have them put that in the court file. Right. It's over. It's over. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, just on a practical note, um, I haven't had much court experience. Like when you say put it into the file, do you physically go down there to the court and like do you pay a filing fee? Or, no, and stuff? you can't, and you don't have to pay a filing fee because you're the defendant. Oh, right. They're the accuser. You're the defendant. It doesn't cost you a dime. And you go down to the. Uh, it's going to be a summary convictions window, right? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And and you tell the clerk of the court, the clerk of the court, the clerk, the guy who's at the front counter, you say, I want you to file these affidavits into the court file, please. Yeah. And you, you probably have a court file number or a charge number, and you let them know what that is. Oh, I see. So the defendant doesn't need to pay to defend Fuck himself. No. Of course not. Not in summary convictions. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yep. And then if they keep fucking with you, and the other stuff I'm teaching people is when you finally get tired of this and you issue fines and you charge them for violating your human rights. Yeah. Right? And you, and you, put, you put a fee schedule in place, which is a real contract now, that if they come and they try to force you to do anything, they violated the terms of your agreement and they now owe you whatever money you outline in your fee schedule. Now you take that to Queen's Bench, which is common law. Right. Got it. Yeah where you have a plaintiff and a defendant, you have an injured party who's enforcing a contract, and there's rules, and all you have to do is read Queen's Bench rules, yeah. and there's forms you have to f you file. And I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm telling people how to get out of having to pay the filing fee of 240 bucks, which is what we've got over here. Right. Right, which is getting to be simple, but we haven't just done it yet. It's, it's still in theory, but for some reason, because of whatever level I understand this stuff, uh, whatever whatever theory I come up with, about 99.9% .9 of the time, is completely correct. Right. Yeah. 
Queen's so bench. So that'll get easy. So um, over here, that's a division of the high court. Is that the same there? Yeah, because well, you guys have the, uh, the 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 high court, but then you also have summary convictions. I think it's called. Well, um, county court. It's called county court. Uh, magistrates is the summary place where most like uh, traffic tickets get dealt yep. with. Okay, magistrates court exactly. Yeah. And then you will have Queen's Bench. Uh, yeah, Queen's Bench as a division of the high court. Yeah, which is where you take your lawsuits, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So that's like that's like a proper court with full scope and full jurisdiction to be able to hear anything. Is if, that right? If you can find the Queen's Bench Act. Uh, or whatever act it's called that created that court, right? You will find that the word common law is probably mentioned every seventh word, right? I and see. who's the def and who's the defender of the common law? Uh, I guess Her Majesty House of Windsor, the woman. Queen, the Queen Elizabeth is the defender of the common law. So if they're violating your common law rights in that court by 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 the judge colluding with the crown to fuck you over and and not not award you judgment yeah who do you contact the queen um i'm not sure she has a private secretary called christopher geit you contact him you let them know that the courts are completely completely colluding to to uh deprive you of your common law rights and you send them cop this is going down the road when you tried suing them in queen's bench and the judge completely fucks you over yeah which is going to happen then, when that happens, then you contact the Queen and you send Christopher Geit, her private secretary, who probably has 2,000 lawyers working underneath him. Like, obviously, he's not going to read this. They've got whole legal departments, right? Right. Because, really, her, her, uh, Queen Elizabeth is an institution of her own. Right. Yeah. And they'll have the same amount of lawyers and an organization below them to deal with this stuff that any other organization would. Right. Yeah. Right? So now that's where you take your, your common law grievance. Yeah. But you don't do that until you've exhausted all your all your remedies. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And and feel free to let the judges know, by the way, that if they fuck you over in the, your common law rights, <laughs> yeah. you're going to be taking this to the defender of the common law. And you're going to take a criminal complaint about them to yeah. the defender of the common law, to Queen to Queen, Queen Elizabeth, who swore an oath to uphold God's law and the common law. Oh, and right. she fucking will. You better believe she will. Or she's now in breach of trust. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Does it actually say common law in her oath? Uh, as far as I, I haven't actually read the oath, but I know she's she's bound by, to, uh, to uphold God's law, and I know that she's known as the defender of common law. Oh, I see. I didn't know the that. The defender of the common law. I'm sure I could find a resource for that somewhere. Right. Right? So everybody thinks that because they've got the words Her Majesty at the top of all these statutes and shit that government is passing, they think it's actually Queen Elizabeth, and they think that she's in breach of her office by, by enacting man-made legislation in violation of God's law. It's not her. It's the corporation of the inner city of London. She's got nothing to do with this shit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, how much of a mind fuck is that? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And it's all provable because you just said that when you enter the inner city, it says right in there, the Corporation of London. Let me send it to you right now on Skype. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it's got the dragon and everything. I, yeah, I even know the symbol with the Templar symbols in it, right? I haven't opened it yet. All right. Does it have the Templar plus, like, red red crosses yeah. on each side? Yeah, yeah, Okay, now I'm going to open it. <laughs> yeah. And you'll see I'm doing that. So save as, hang on. Desktop. Corporation of London. Open. Yeah, and it's got the Templar symbols, correct? I don't know what that is. That's the red cross, is it? That's the red cross on each side. I think it goes across the dragon and up the wings. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, it hasn't downloaded yet. I'm gonna have a look at it here when it does. Okay, well, that's that's what the crown is. The corporation. The corporation. That's the crown that's coming after you. Do you really think that you injured Queen Elizabeth somehow? <laughs> no. No. It's not Queen Elizabeth coming after you in the courts. Why? Wow, ah, there you go. Elizabeth. There's the there's the Templar cross. Even at the top through the dragon, the other yeah, the red parts there. There you go. Corporation of London. That is Her Majesty. That is so devious, isn't it, to call it Her Majesty? What the fucking rights it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's deliberate, isn't it? 
it's very deliberate, but it's legal. Yeah. Now I'd like to say, I'd like to know the translation of that. Domin Domin Nos D Dirige? I don't even know what that is. Domin Is it Domin Nos Dirige, is it? Let me type it in Google and see. Yeah, there you go. See what that see what that brings up. Dirige. But if that is if that isn't a Knight Templar shield, then I don't know what is. Domin Nos Dirige. There you go. Wikipedia City of London. Uh, da -da 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 uh Dominos. Uh, Domin Dirige Nos Lord Direct Guide us. Lord Direct us. Interesting. L hmm. Lord Direct us, yeah. Now it depends on who their lord is. Yeah. Because I guarantee you right now their lord is Mammon. Mammon? Mammon. That's uh, money. Oh, yeah, I see. So who do you reckon owns that corporation then, the City of London? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> I guarantee you that Queen Elizabeth may be a very large shareholder of it. I see, yeah. I don't know, but I guarantee it's also for the Freemasons and uh, whatever group is ultimately secretly controlling the world, that's the corporation they're using to do it by subverting the name of Her Majesty. Hmm. Using that, and then creating, a, again, even the United States is under that, right? I didn't know that, but I've heard oh, that yeah. it is, but I don't know why exactly. Uh, yeah, no, it completely is. It's all, they're all sub-corporations of this corporation. All right. That is the corporation. So this must be registered somewhere. Well, it's its own sovereign nation. It's registered with itself. Oh, I see. Yeah, of course. Every other corporation on the planet is registered with them. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is not incorporated under some other entity. No, that, this is the top it. of the tree. That's the top of that tree. Yeah. But here's the only difference. Your legal person is the top of your tree. And it's not under them. Let me think about that. My legal person... You're oh. your own sovereign. I see. Do you mean like as in my estate type of thing? Your estate, correct. Got it. Yeah, and and that's not like you say that we, we're we're yeah yeah we're the top we're we're only one under God the same as they are type of thing. Yes. We're not under now, them. Your legal person, your agent in commerce, the all capital letter name that's created. Hmm. They can use that to interact with you, but they don't have jurisdiction over it. They can only gain jurisdiction over it by contracting with it. Yeah. Other than that, it's yours. It's sovereign, and it's your agent in commerce, your vessel, your commercial vessel to use to engage in commerce around the world with whoever you want. And that's your common law right, is to engage in commerce with whoever you choose to engage in commerce with. Yeah. Now yeah. that's where it starts to get exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so pr private business and private trade is not taxable to anyone, right? Fuck no. It's the same as here in Canada, where it says that the Canada only has jurisdiction over its own business. Yeah. Its own business is described in their own laws as anything performing a function of government. Right. Of course they only have jurisdiction over their own business. Their business is their business. Yeah. Yeah. So they have to make you believe that your business is their business as well. Yeah, so that gives the clue away that any taxable uh, income is a function of government. Yep, you have to make that while performing a function of government. That's mm. the same as, say, working for Coca-Cola. And Coca-Cola says, okay, guys, we're going to start deducting 10% of your paycheck to go into a retirement fund for you. Mm. Yeah. The problem is, if you don't work for Coca-Cola, what has that got to do with you? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I don't work for the inner city crown corporation of London. Yeah. Wow, God. They got if, you're cla if you're claiming I do, produce the contract and produce the payroll records. Yeah. I hear people saying that we need to get away from commerce and stuff, but my outlook is that everything is commerce. Like, all interaction is... Of course, we have to get away from their commerce. Yeah. Because their commerce has their rules attached to it. Yeah, I And see. if I'm going to work with somebody, it's going to be by my rules. Yeah. 
that's kind of the message of everything I'm teaching people with, with,